I'm a strong believer that in an equitable and fair society that opportunities are dispersed based on the population demographics. So a place like New York, 51% of the economic and career opportunities ought to go to women. And then so on in terms of racial and uh, um, issues. Uh, same thing. Um, if we have a city that's 26% African-American, that 26% of the career and economic opportunities ought to go to African-Americans. Our industry is clearly in need of a revamping in terms of opportunity. Um, I believe that pretty much nothing will change unless our overall structure changes and our overall policy. And Republicans are generally better for real estate than Democrats, by and large. Um, because Democrats are looking to address a more broader spectrum of issues than Republicans are. But I think that's changing, too, because so many Republican voters feel like they've been forgotten. And I think that what we're going to see is a shift in the Republican Party to a degree that imposes a few more um, responsibilities on our industry. We are able to do these deals because we're better at it than most people and most companies. And we pursue the public-private partnership because it plays to our strengths. I grew up in Washington, D.C. My last two years of high school, I spent working on, on the Capitol Hill in the House of Representatives as a page and an intern. So I understood the political process. I was engaged in citywide political campaigns for the mayor's office um, when I was in my early 20s. And I chaired the most powerful board in Washington, D.C. in my mid-20s. And so I understand how politics work. And I also believe that we as real estate developers have a far greater responsibility than just making the most money we can off of a project. Um, we are building cities, we are building communities, and we have a broader responsibility. And I like the fact that the public-private partnerships, the sole determining factor isn't the price you pay for land, it's what you do to make the community better. And we feel that we are a very community-minded, um, successful real estate developing firm that builds profitable projects, but is also economically inclusion, inclusive. And we make it a point to provide economic opportunities to people reflective of the population of the communities where we build our buildings. And that's why we win, because we do good buildings, we are inclusive, and we respect everyone. I don't think we judge anybody by their worst moments. If we did, most of us in the real estate industry would be outcast too. So um, we judge people by their body of work. And Marion Barry you know, went through the civil rights movement as a civil rights activist and uh, then transform Washington, D.C. into the city that it was before this last downturn, um, a city that's a global city. And he had an, a perspective that the opportunities, the economic opportunities in Washington, D.C. should be provided and dispersed equitably. And that meant that it would be reflective of the population demographic. So you saw women and minorities excel in Washington, D.C. And that helped form my way of doing business in terms of using business as a tool of transformation. I certainly want to be looked at as more than just a real estate developer who made a few dollars. Um, I'm looking to build symbols of economic empowerment and economic equality. And at the same hand, I'm using business and the real estate development business in particular as a tool of transformation to provide career and economic opportunities to women and people of color. Something that our industry has overlooked for decades and for generations here in New York City. That is why you see a shortage of women and people of color in the high levels of real estate development in New York City, because the game is rigged against them. 